Good people, I'm Dmitry with Hyrule Canucks, and today let's talk about the fascinating history of Corsair keyboards leading up to the incredible K100 RGB that summarizes an extensive list of features for a true 2020 flagship. Starting in 2011, the world received the awesome K60 and the K90 Vengeance keyboards with a mix of cherry and membrane switches, but with that distinct aluminum shape and body that we see to this day. Did you know? Back in March of 2013, Corsair launched the K70. That's important because it was the first Corsair keyboard with 100% cherry switches throughout the keyboard. The K70 RGB in 2014 was one of the first mainstream keyboards to feature perky lighting and color customization, something that is so common today we almost kind of take it for granted. In 2016, we got to see a true full-size flagship, the K95 RGB Platinum, evolved with a cool 19-zone light edge and first-of-its-kind hardware lighting playback with five layers of onboard lighting and macros saved to onboard memory. Corsair was one of the first on the market to introduce MX Cherry Speed, Silent, and Low Profile switches, which are among my favorites to game on. MX Speed in particular set an example that many competitors followed with that really fast actuation, smooth linear response, and nice light press too. K70 RGB Mark II and Strafe RGB Mark II were updated with speed switches in 2018, including MX Speed Low Profile that are so satisfying. Next up, Corsair IQ allowed users to synchronize all their lighting effects to all the IQ compatible devices for that sweet look. And with the acquisition of Elgato, having dedicated macro keys on the keyboard for Stream Deck integration is truly unique to Corsair. Would I like those keys to be tiny transparent screens like we see with the Stream Deck? Sure, but even still, that side row is the most capable macro set you can find on any keyboard today. The latest in the Switch collection from Corsair comes with the new K60 RGB Pro keyboard with the new Cherry Viola switches. They are still mechanical, but with a simplified design and cover the premium value oriented keyboards like the K60 RGB Pro. Which brings us to present day and this culmination of keyboard upgrades that have rolled out over the years that make up the incredible K100 RGB, a truly unique beast of its own that has some special tech under the hood. Like the new Corsair Axon hyperprocessing technology capable of 4000 Hz key scanning and hyperpolling. What? Versus your traditional 1000 Hz noobs. This may not fully matter today, but 4000 Hz means you have consistent registration, which is going to be so attractive for professional gamers and that esports arena. And also with reduced input latency, it's why I'm so excited for this technology because it's finally in the mainstream. With this Accent processor, you can also create up to 20 layers of hardware lighting without the need to run IQ in the background. And if you're up for a challenge, up to 200 onboard profiles can be saved to the keyboard. Unnecessary to most? Yes. Cool? Yes. The K100 also is the first keyboard to equip Corsair's new OPX optical mechanical switches that complement speed at 4000 Hz and zero debounce, reliability with at least 150 million keystrokes, and fast actuation at 1 mm with total travel distance of 3.2 with 45 grams of actuation force. It's a really good hybrid between MX Speed and other optical competition that both feel and sound great. Take a listen. The K100 is also the first Corsair keyboard with a standard bottom row. Thank you, keycap swapping has entered the chat. We've got double shot PPT keycaps with a nice clean font and smooth texture for long durability, USB pass through for additional peripherals. Just be mindful of the thick splitter USB cable that is not that easy to hide. Now, aside from the macro keys on the left that are Stream Deck compatible, users can customize the multifunction IQ wheel for on the fly brightness adjustment, vertical and horizontal scrolling, media jogging, and some more built in functions, but you can also create macros with the wheel for a specific workflow. And lastly, let's admire the beautiful, subtle redesign of the K100. With 44 RGB zones around the keyboard, brushed aluminum frame and a familiar media cluster with that aluminum volume wheel, a super comfortable wrist rest with memory foam and a magnetic clasp with both OPX and MX speed switch options. So that's the recap. Corsair has come a long way with mechanical keyboards, always looking forward yet staying relevant. Now imagine what we'll see in terms of technology and features in five to 10 years from now, probably we'll see things that we don't know we want just yet. But until then, the Corsair K100 RGB should satisfy. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Keyboard.
responsibly.